97. Ari, hi. Hey, girl. Ari Lettix <laughs> has finally arrived. So just so you know, as you see all those young ladies there, say hi, Mia. Hey. Where's hey. Rebecca? There was Rebecca somewhere here. Oh, there she is. Where's they are that? literally fangirling over Yo, you. Yo, for real? They never it's come to love. my interviews. They're like, okay, whatever. <laughs> it's so what? It's Kanye. But you, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but they're like literally fangirling over you. Wow, yo. I'm so thankful. I love you guys. <laughs> I, I, think it's, I think it's so important because I saw you performing with J. Cole at his show. And that feeling, that smile that you have the whole time on stage. Yo, because it's like crazy. Like, I can't believe it. All those people that he brings out like every show. I just, I'm so happy that, like, I can be a part of it for, you know, like, it's just, I can't help, like, you have to smile, like, it's just natural. Like, How crazy is this? Oh, man, it's so crazy, because, like, three years ago, I was thinking about, well, fake thinking about, like, <laughs> signing up for the military, and, you know, I was just on SoundCloud, just uploading songs, just not really thinking that anything could come out of it, so... Yeah, this is really crazy. So how did you and Dreamville get together? Well, it's just a long story. I mean, Omen, he's uh, signed to Dreamville, and he basically reached out for a collab. And I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think right. Cole would ever care, because I always feel like, <laughs> I don't know, celebrities, like I just always felt like they just never really right. cared or for singers, you know? like so. Yeah, I just didn't think anything would come of it, but we collaborated, and I guess as years, a couple years went by, and Cole and E were listening to the stuff I was uploading on SoundCloud, and they just flew me out to L.A., we worked in the studio, and they sent me home. I thought, I didn't think that anything was it. of it. Right, I didn't think they were interested at all. But then, like, yeah, they kept in touch, and they were like, yeah, so we, I think we want to sign you. It was real random. And and that's that, yeah. Huh? I really did not think it was gonna happen. I was what? Depressed. This is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so when they said that, what did you do immediately? What was your first thought? And then when you hung up the phone, what happened? I was like, what? Uh, <laughs> like, um, I was just, I don't know. I was excited. Like, it was just excitement. Like. Well, excitement and, like, is it really real until right. it's, like, really <laughs> real, you know? Of course. So, yeah. Who was the first person you told after that? Um, Do you remember? No, I don't remember. I probably told mom. Like, uh -huh. yeah, so there's a possibility that this might happen. And I, I didn't like telling people until it was sure, like, until it was for real. So I could see probably, that. Yeah, I don't like to get my hopes up or the my friends and family's hopes up, so. So you were doing covers, mm -hmm. and that's primarily how, I guess, Oh yeah. people were finding you. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite cover? Oh, it was probably um, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, I did Drunk in Love, and it was cool because I, I found a way to like flip them, mm -hmm. so like, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, it was just with me and my guitarist, and we were just vibing, it was cool. Drunk in Love, it was to a genuine beat. So, like, I just, like, flipped it and made it, like, more sexy and slow. So, like, I, I was just always into stuff like that, like, flipping yeah. songs. Yeah. God, and look at it. It worked out. This is crazy yeah, right now. It's so crazy. You know what? It's different to talk to you after seeing you perform. Right? That was my first time seeing you wow. perform, right? And to see the reaction of the people... Right, and to see that, I was very happy for you. Mm -hmm. Do you get nervous before you go on stage? For sure, there's definitely nerves, but it's just like, usually I, I take that as a good sign, like, okay, you're gonna do well. If there's no nerves, then it's just like, well, be prepared for terror or death. <laughs> so like, yeah. Gosh, <laughs> what's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you on stage? Uh, that you're just like, yo, I'm glad no one noticed. <laughs> Um, embarrassing thing. Yo, I don't know. I don't think it's happened yet. My fear is to like fall or like a boo pop out or oh something my gosh. like that. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Or like, I don't know, fart loudly. I was about to say, like, like I feel like <laughs> farting is something that probably everybody Yo, does. Right. Like, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> now, I think falling and boo popping out beats farting. Right. Yeah, okay. coming farting. It's like. Yeah. I mean, if they hear it somehow, like. <laughs> that would be horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about pho. Uh-huh. I love to eat pho. Yes, me too. Love pho. And mm-hmm. it drives me crazy when people don't know pho. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, how do you not know right, pho? It's like the right. greatest. You mm-hmm. can eat it at any point in your life. Mm-hmm. When did you first have pho? Do you remember? Um, a couple years, two or three years ago with my ex. Like, he just went to this spot called Pho Real in Charlotte. Um, we're in the university area of Charlotte, North Carolina. And, like, we would just go there. I would get the chicken pho with jalapenos, mm. bean sprouts. Oh, it was so good. And I would get a pork chop on the side, real random. I don't know. <laughs> but it just was life. Yeah. Live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, okay. So when we're listening to the songs and we're hearing it, so now everybody knows it's because you ate pho mm-hmm. with your ex all mm-hmm. the time. Yeah, it was our thing. Does he still try to reach out to you? Yeah, we're actually cool. Like, we're cool (gasps) now. Like, yeah, I mean, we're not, like, best friends. But, like, we check on each other from time to time. Yeah. Like, it's it's definitely dead, but... It's cool. Like I'm, I'm happy that he's doing good in South Korea, and I'm doing great over here. And it was cool, like hearing so much like positivity from him. Like he's just really proud of me because he knew me when I was like really thinking about joining the military, like right behind him, because he went to the military. So I was thinking like maybe I could do this and oh, like wow. save money and you know get the benefits. Right, right. But uh, I'm glad I, I, I followed my heart instead of him wow so yeah <laughs> are you single or are you in a relationship oh i'm i'm well, not very single I, I like this this fine ass guy i know he's really cool but other than that i mean i'm not having sex or nothing it's yeah it's been a long time but so you're single yeah that's how yeah i guess yeah yeah i'm single <laughs> very single <laughs> what's up with this guy is he not feeling you no he is it's just it's new and like i don't know it's just new just let him so court we'll you yeah, yeah just taking it slow right right you know what i was gonna say what's your type let's figure it out let's it's put it I, out there i i hate putting it out there because like who knows like maybe i'll try something different one right. day but like it's always like a sexy deep brown like yeah. it's always brown <laughs> beautiful niggas yeah so <laughs> yeah that's yo I, Ari I love you right I now do. now does he have to be a lawyer doctor do you care he's in the industry or I mean that would be cool well no it wouldn't doctors are always on call I feel like I don't know or I, doctors I appreciate them for saving the world but like I don't know I, I think that would be too intense like yeah. he's too busy or something so I don't know. Definitely not a musician. That would be a lot. Yeah, Musicians no. are dramatic. So I can't. It's so funny. You're like I can't deal with myself. No, like, I can't no, deal with me. I gotta like, deal with me already. You're right. Like nah. <laughs> nah. So now musically, who do you want to work with? Like if you could put your dream collab wow. together and it's like three people that you would love to get in the studio with, who would they be? And it's hard to say names because you're always. I'm always afraid that they'll be like. Who is this hoe? I would never say yeah. with them. So I always, I'm very afraid of rejection, but Hiatus Coyote, I adore them. Okay. Uh, Little Dragon, Tyler the Creator. That's awesome. Um, yo, like, shoot, Monica, I love her. Shaka okay. Khan. It's like, I know it's all these things are like far fetched, but like, you know. I mean, not that far fetched. You yeah. were at Essence D'Angelo, Festival. Freaking, I love D'Angelo. I, I I feel this will all come into mm-hmm. fruition. You performed at the Essence Festival. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That How was, was that? Yo, that was like, that was crazy. Like, I, I was upset because I was rocking these pants. <laughs> but, like, um, I went to use the bathroom and, like, the, the string. Like, I was trying to, like, unstring them or something. And, like, it broke. So, like, my <gasps> pants were, like, falling down while I was singing. So, like, I couldn't, like, bend down and get, like, real crazy like I wanted to. But like other than that, man, Essence was fire. Like it was great. It was Did great. you have any moments of like, oh my gosh, I'm a bit starstruck right now because I Yo, saw so and so. Heck yeah! Every second I was seeing a so and so. Like I, every second it was like, there's a legend. There's another legend. Like definitely Shaka Khan. Like that experience was 
crazy. She was so sweet and so Aww. warm. And like, I was like, why is she so nice? It was just like, <laughs> she's just so cool and like sassy and confident. She was just everything like, oh, and her family's the same way. Just open arms, beautiful energy. Like, it's, yeah, I was so starstruck. Like, oh, I can only imagine. Yeah. And I went home and I, I listened to her debut album and I've just been having like this song Love Has Fallen On Me. Mm -hmm. It's just been on repeat. Like, she's just legendary. Yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> I'm trying like right now, like you're painting the picture. I'm like that moment. Oh, that man. conversation. Mm -hmm. Oh, she she just gave me so much beautiful advice just about being humble and oh, I just really I really took that like just stay humble. I was going over listening to some songs and I was listening to Backseat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is this true? Oh yeah. Has this girl, happened? What? Hey man. Every day of my life at one point. <laughs> or not every day, but like at least a couple a good times amount. a week. Yes. Yeah. I was I mean, me and my ex, we were just, you know, broke as hell and no one had apartments. So we would just get busy in his mom's car. Hopefully she's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, hey, it wasn't his car. Yeah, right. So <laughs> what kind of car was it? Do you remember? Yo, I just remember it was a weird blue car, <laughs> minivan, but it was a nice little house for us. Oh, my God. It's too good. <laughs> Okay, so what? You have a fear of flying? Is this yeah. still? I you mean. Know, I, look, I don't like flying either. Yeah. So I felt when I heard it, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I hate it. It's so bad that I've taken the Greyhound cross country like no. at least five times. Years ago, like probably over three or four years ago. I stopped doing that. I've, I've, I will fly if I have to. But I'm trying to just get past that anyway. Like. <sighs> me and my cousin, the the last time I didn't fly, me and my cousin, we drove from Houston, Texas to Phoenix. We were driving. All of a sudden, I see this yellow, terrifying sandstorm. I was like, what the hell is that? I'm thinking it's a tornado. I'm thinking we're about to die. And like then after that, there was like this crazy electrical storm. The clouds were looking freaking crazy as hell. And I realized all this fear, all this anxiety that I have, and we're driving it's like a prolonged experience of like two hours being on a flight. It's, it just made me realize I'm gonna be scared. I'm regardless. Regardless, I'm scary in general. Like I just need to get <laughs> over this shit. So I, I just hopped on a flight uh, like last week or something for a show in DC. And I was just like, man, this shit is so beautiful. The clouds, like, I mean, I, I was drunk as hell, but it was great. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> it was nice. Hey, you made it. Yeah. It happened. Exactly. Do you I pray do. before you take off, though? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's mm. me. I'm like, oh, my God. Please, I promise. Please, God. Uh, yeah. Like, I make all these <laughs> deals at this Yo, moment. Like, whatever you I'll want. I'll never have sex again. Yeah. Everything. Like, what do you want? What do you want? Okay. Yes. No more drinking after this flight. Right Anything when you land. You want. Where the hoes at? What we doing? Yo. <laughs> I be feeling superhuman when I make yeah. it. Like, every time I did it. God. Yes. <laughs> this is yeah. so great. I yeah. love this. Well, how do you feel about the vibe? I feel like it's a good time for R and B, oh, soul, yes. women, mm -hmm. right? And you, you do see other artists out yeah. here. How do you feel? Like, does it? You just like this is great. I feel lucky because it was feeling like people weren't embracing R and B, and then you got people like SZA who yeah. are kind of like busting the door wide open with just her like natural soulful self right and it's working people are embracing it and it's just like thank you SZA thank you Solange right like people just being themselves and everyone just has no choice but just to embrace and accept it and it's just good music so I feel lucky that these people are here right now paving that way because man for a while it was looking sketchy like absolutely that there's just no it seems like radio in life media makes it seem like there's no more it's room impossible for yeah. absolutely so and even kaylani right yes it's just, kaylani too i love her I, I, everybody you name i'm just mm -hmm. i'm happy mm -hmm. i feel like this is a mm -hmm. win yes this Excuse is me chills. everybody needs to just yeah. go Yo. go go keep going because mm -hmm. there's room for everybody yes. there's yes. always room so and you room. know what i think especially during times like this when we see the administration mm -hmm. and where our country is it's important that we really hold each other mm -hmm. down right now right and i think this is so important when 
I, I love when I see other women supporting other right. women. It just, it makes my heart like, all right. Yes. This is what they don't want, but this is what needs to happen. Right, right. Okay, well, I, this is going to be really hard, but if you had to ha have pho mm -hmm. with either Solange or SZA, who would it be? <laughs> Yo, okay, no offense to SZA. I could, me and SZA follow each other <laughs> on Instagram, so she is more of my nigga than Solange. Because right. Only because I don't know Solange. But low key, it would be Solange because man, still, yo, a seat at the table was life. Yo, that EP was everything. I just need to like sit at her table and find out like the details of like what goes on through her mind, like the, her fashion statements, like uh, her her writing, her her. She's just everything to me. She's like our modern day Diana Ross, yes. and I just want to soak up all of that like energy and inspiration. She's just everything. But I feel like, man. And then after that, I would like to have uh, more with SZA. Yeah, more fun <laughs> with SZA. Like. and more fun with Kayla yeah, and everybody. Yes, please. This is so cute. <laughs> I, I I love this, and you know what? Eve was talking so good about you for oh, a very long man. time. He's and a real one, man. He really was like, listen, this is what matters. I'm telling you, this is the truth. And to hear everybody embrace you the way they do, Cole, and literally the, everybody in Dreamville. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who it is. Yeah, it's crazy. Everybody's very excited. I saw it with my own eyes. I heard <laughs> it with my own ears last night at the show in Brooklyn. And I... I'm very happy for you. Thank you. I'm happy that you have a good home. Yes. And they're treating you good, mm -hmm. of course. It's so genuine. Yes. Like, it's like there's no fighting. There's no weird tension. There's no evilness. Like, it's like how are these people so genuine and nice and, and real? Like, why? How is it? This is the music industry. Yeah. Like, I know, like, all of us have experienced some shady shit. Like, yeah, of course. It's never them. Like, it's, it just gives me chills. I feel, I don't know, God really had his hand in this in the, in yes. the universe because, like, man, I, I would have gotten in trouble a long time ago somewhere else on somebody else's label because, I mean, I'm probably a little crazy, you know, a lot of crazy. So, <laughs> like, but it's just, like, it's dope because we all crazy together. We are all insane yeah on dream but just insanely beautiful like, yeah in our own different ways it's like we all fit in like it's just family and you know crazy. what? It makes complete sense just being around the vibe. And I, I think you had tweeted, what was the, oh, when you were talking about <laughs> lots of us have been socially conditioned mm -hmm. to numbly accept the fact our lineage has been erased. Oh, shit. It's painful not knowing yeah. how my ancestors got here and where we come from. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of our identity crisis derives from not knowing. Oh, hell yeah. And I think that is the answer hmm. right and we were talking about this last night because we had a chance to see everybody after mm -hmm. the show and i i love that you're not scared to address this and, oh, and talk about yeah, it and let man. it be known like this is this is what it is mm -hmm. do you deal with backlash for for just being yourself and loving Yo. yourself is that what's crazy like when you love yourself and you love where you come from or whatever it is all the sense like well what does that mean right are you racist right it's like no right. i love myself and i right. love my people it right. doesn't make me hate mm -hmm. you right but i'm sure there's got to be trolls do you deal with that or is everyone Yo, i i just never knew just because i met this girl in vancouver and she was saying it's it's weird americans black americans like they rep where they're from and but it's just weird to me because it's like you like you probably rep like DC or Atlanta or Tennessee wherever you're from versus like the country where like your ancestors are from and it's just like Word. well I'm happy you know where you're from yeah but it's like it, it gives me chills and it makes me really depressed I don't know where my we're gonna get you a DNA kit yo I would love that if you don't know mm -hmm. do it right there's it, it, no the whole, loss there's no loss mm -hmm. it's only a gain it's mm -hmm. just it gives you that connection something past mm -hmm. here Ooh, that's real but it's like i and i want that yeah. desperately but my only thing was like I, i'm still proud to be like you could be a both. black you know yeah. a woman in america america's a little shady but the, my blackness my black people yeah. here i'm proud of that i'm proud to be from dc you know what i'm saying just yeah. like i'm proud of anyone who claims you know where they're from exactly and i can't wait to find out like where i'm from like where my ancestors are from because gosh like i feel 
kind of like empty without knowing that. But and my whole thing is, it's like I'm I'm not gonna just not be proud of DC no, though. No, like, you be proud. No, that be was proud my of it. thing with that little yeah. girl. But like, <laughs> but it was it was cool. It was cool though. Yeah, but I'm I can't do wait till you kid. do it and yeah. we talk again. We and will. you'll be like, now DC makes it's Ooh. a different lens on it. Mm-hmm. You appreciate it differently. You're mm-hmm. like, damn, we, wow. Like your family made it through right. everything. Ooh, Do you right. know what I mean? It's a, right. it's different. I always tell everybody, you have to know where you come from. Mm. The, mm. It's strategic when they don't want you to know. Ooh, it's, it's strategic. Scary. This, this isn't like by mistake. Piece. Like, right. Like, oh, it's, it's just, not a mistake. Right. None of this is a mistake. Right. That is just. We're gonna get it. So it's literally corrupted. it's nothing mm-hmm. online and. Just get it done. Somehow. While you're eating some pho, <laughs> and this time around, you're going to be thinking of me, no longer Just the eggs. The swab. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I was going to say, so now you can't ever eat pho without thinking of him? Oh, hell no. I don't think about okay, him like I that. I was like, this is nah, damaging. No, nah, this is great food. <laughs> I don't like, and then like, yeah, like every now and then I think of him, but it's okay too, because it's like, there were beautiful things that he showed me, and it's just like, I'm just like, oh, thank you for that. You know, it's just like, it's... It's not any more pain there. Like, I feel free. So it's okay. Mm. But definitely not. Nah, not every time I'm eating pho. Nah. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. We're going to get that DNA test. Of course. Yo, so much.